This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. In this video, I'll show you how to make the voice of Sweet Mayhem. Those of you who've seen the movie will undoubtedly recognize this. Uh, it's unmistakable, but how to create it. So I've created a voice over here. This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. Which sounds nothing like the voice of Sweet Mayhem. So, well, it's really easy to apply this kind of effect. I'm going to go into multi-track view here in Adobe Audition. Let's zoom right in because we're only going to need three tracks. Let's get in nice and tight so we can see the waveform. And first of all, we're going to duplicate this waveform uh, by holding down the Alt or Option key as we just simply drag and drop and drag and drop onto track three. So three tracks, Sweet Mayhem now, all tracked up. This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. And that is exactly what we're looking for, just simply doing that. But what did I do on tracks two and three? I have got a couple of effects loaded. Over here on track two, I've got a pitch shifter and I've simply shifted it up three semitones. So listen to the solo. This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. And then over on track three, I've got another pitch shifter and I've shifted it down minus three semitones. It sounds like this soloed. This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. And then we'll combine them all together again. This, this is, is the, the voice, voice of Sweet Mayhem. And just to make it uh, have a rather good touch to it, we'll actually Take the volume down maybe by around 7 dB on the pitched tracks. This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. That sounds pretty good. Uh, then to give a cinematic feel, I'm going to pan uh, 50 to the right. Uh, so half to the right and half to the left. This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. Listening in headphones now, you'll definitely notice that. So note, we've got the original voice track. We've got pitch shifted up voice track. 50% to the right, pitch shifted down voice track, 50% to the left. If we wanted to take it one step further, what we could do is add all of this to a bus. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, let's create a stereo bus here and we'll call this Sweet uh, Mayhem Bus. And then we'll just add the other two tracks. And what a bus will do, it'll enable me to add the same effect to all of those channels. I want to just add a little bit of reverb for some space. Let's go for studio reverb. Uh, we'll go for the default. And let's listen to that uh, with a lot of dry, a bit more wet. This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. Need a bit more dry, a little less wet, I think. This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll mix this down to a brand new session. Sweet Mayhem is here in my hand, sounding really good. Uh, and then I'm simply going to uh, normalize it using a favorite to normalize. Maybe add a little bit of compression as uh, obviously in the Lego movie, they'd be compressing the voices quite nicely. Here's a simple single band compressor at minus 20, ratio 2 to 1, attack 0, release 50, output gain 5 dB increase. Uh, simple little bit of compression just to even out the sounds there. Normalize again and Sweet Mayhem results. This is the voice of Sweet Mayhem. So there you go, Sweet Mayhem in a nutshell. Any ideas to improve this technique? Just let me know in the comments. Enjoy creating your own Sweet Mayhem voice.